This is a demo for the missed call services. First of all, you have to open the main site. Then you have to log in through your credentials provided to you by the company. Here I am using a certain credential as an example. When you log in, you will be able to see the following panel. Since we are talking about the missed call services, you have to click on the services present on the left hand side. Then click on missed call service. The following panel will appear before you. The number present here will be your service number given to you. It can be either a toll free number or a 10 digit number asked by you to give as a service number. On the renew page, you can see that this shows that the service has been activated on your account and the expiry date for your plan is present here. Next is the SMS part. This is taken up when you want that an auto reply SMS should be sent to your customer whenever they give a missed call. There are two templates to select. First of all is the first SMS and the second SMS. You have to get a template verified for both of them from the company. The first SMS is when the customer gives a missed call on your number the first time. If the same number is used to give a missed call on your service number, then the second SMS will be sent as an auto reply. The next service is voice call. This is when you want a voice clip to be sent as an auto reply to a missed call given by your customer. The next service is IVR. If you want, you can get yourself enabled for an IVR service. And an IVR will be used as an auto reply for your missed call service. WhatsApp. For WhatsApp also, you need to get a template added to your system so that you can choose it. It should be activated from the company's side. This acts as an auto reply. This acts as an auto reply to your service of missed call. That is, whenever a customer will give a missed call to your number, a WhatsApp message will be sent as an auto reply. Next is the ringtone service. Ringtone service is when the duration that your phone rings, that is for 10 to 12 seconds when the ringing is going on for the missed call, you can play a certain clip of 10 to 12 seconds, whichever you want, like a welcome message or something else, and then the call will be disconnected. For the email part, it works like there is a report panel present right here on the left hand side. But if you want these reports to be sent on your email ID, you have to give your email ID and get the reports as per your need. If you want a daily report, you can get this one enabled. If you want weekly, then this one will be enabled. And if you want the monthly report, then the monthly report will be activated. The API is used for the integration purpose. Next is the agent SMS. You can get your number to be assigned as an admin and whenever there is a missed call, you will get an SMS regarding that call. The next option is regarding opt-in. If we enable opt-in in the missed call service, then we can generate a separate missed call opt-in report and with that, we can do promotional activities on those numbers with any regulatory issues. We can send bulk call, SMS and even one-to-one -one call from virtual number as well. Opt-in allows us to do promotional activities on the numbers who are giving us a missed call. The last feature is regarding the reports. On the left hand side, you can see the reports option. 
then you can go to the missed call service here you will find a complete report regarding the missed call service that you had activated these are the contact numbers through which you received a missed call this is the date and time then the status this will always be missed because this is a missed call service for channel the service number goes to the channel circle operator these are all the details needed for you to monitor your missed call service